Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't normally do this, but I want to give my um, early assessment of this game, Forspoken. I'm not going to um, hold you up. I'm not going to um, be doing a long recording. It's going to be a very short video. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, the purpose of this of this video is to discuss what I see as a as a very good game. Um, and I and I um, admonish you to those of y'all who are thinking about getting this game. Don't listen to all those folks who are pretty much crap on this game. This game is 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 a very solid, very good game. I enjoy myself. Um, I'll, I'll even discuss a couple of things that, that are being said about it. First of all, the story. A lot of people are crapping the game trying to say the story isn't good. Um, now, I'm enjoying the story. I think the story is very good. I'm, I'm following the story. I'm actually waking up in the morning and can't wait to play the game. I just recently beat a game, um, Bayonetta 3, that was, that was you know, a very popular game. Everybody talked about, everybody talking about how great it was. And I enjoyed the game. I thought it was a good game. But I didn't wake up in the morning, can't wait to see what happens next. I just didn't. There are some games I feel that way, some games I don't. I couldn't wait to wake up to um, play Elden Ring, you know. Um, and Sports Poker is another one of those games where I just can't wait to wake up and play it. I want to see what happens next. The story is engaging. People are saying, well, you know, um, it's been done before. It's the same old story. Well, most superhero stories follow the same model. Now, just keep it real. You know, most of them do. You got some kind of special ability. You want to save the world. Well, yeah, sometimes peop um, the, the um, superhero doesn't really see himself as a hero. And you know they're reluctant. Yeah, that happens a lot. Okay, it, it does. But and, and like I said before, in this case, I'm following it and I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm not thinking about that stuff because at the end of the day, I know that if it's a superhero movie, superhero game, at the end of the day, you got a good guy for fighting bad guy. At the end, good guy wins. In the middle somewhere, it's going to be all kind of drama and stuff like that. It's going to seem insurmountable. Then a good guy comes and wins. Bam. That's just about all um, superhero uh, movies, shows, books, comics, some of them in a nutshell. There might be some small differences here and there, but the, 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 the bigger picture, they're all about the same. You know, so um, they, might have, they might have different um, um, abilities. And I just put it to you that way. You know, but you're going to have a lot of people that have the same ability as someone else. So at the end of the day, she got some abilities that you don't really see a whole lot. You know, magic is, you know, not the ability you see a lot. Magic. I don't really I don't really see too many um, um, superhero shows or whatever or games where the magic ability comes from a cuff that they put on the arm. I don't I don't see that. You know, Um so the only thing I could think of that's similar to that is, you know, um, maybe uh, Green Lantern with his with his ring and stuff like that, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, it's 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 a different story. You know, it's different for me. You know, I, I haven't seen that. So the story is good. The character itself, I mean, the voice acting, the voice acting is solid. I must admit, the beginning stages, like where I'm showing now, you know, I. You know, if it took me a while to get into her, I didn't, you know, there are some drawbacks to it, you know, as far as, you know, um, like when they, when she's fighting the gang members, I wish I could have had a more interactive role with that as opposed to, you know, just a running part. I, I wish I could have had a more interactive role when, the, um, when she was escaping that jail, when she got to the new land. I think that it would have been better if I would try to figure out a way out myself as opposed to rely on the thing. Um, but that's a little small, minute details. You know, um, everything is not going to be exactly the way I want it. And that's the way everything works, including games. But at the end of the day, she is a good character. You know, she's not cringeworthy. She she doesn't make a whole bunch of bad decisions. The only decision I think was crazy was to, you know, go for the cat as opposed for <laughs> to the money. You know, but at the end of the day, 
there are people in this world who care more about animals than human beings. That's that's fact. You know, when the last time you heard Peter go and, and Peter go and, and complain about the welfare of, of, of kids where kids are treated in um, or or some human, you know, being killed, you know, um, and stuff like that. You don't hear that. But let you leave a dog outside. Oh, they, you know, they're going to go crazy. <laughs> you know, so at the end of the day, you know, that's their passion. So, you know, I'm not going to knock it. I don't get it. But I'm not. But I'm not going to knock them. Um, uh, but you know, that's that's the thing. That that situation. You know, that cat was more important to her than than uh, um, than that bag of money. You know, me. You know, shoot, let me get this money. Let me get up out of here. You know, you got nine lives. You know, so if you lose one, you got eight more. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, um, um, you know, the the story is is good. The uh, character is good. The voice acting is good. So I, I really don't see the problem that everyone is talking about, to be honest with you. I, I just don't see it. Um, so at the end of the day, the acting, everything is fine. Um, then let's talk about um, the next issue that people might have. Okay, so apparently there are some people who have an issue with the interaction between um, the main character and the cuff. All right, so some people are saying it too much talking, too much talking. Me, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. I think it adds to the story. They having dialogue with each other. Name one one person who you're with for a extended period of time. You don't say nothing to. So you you so what you saying you when you walk with your friends you hang out with your friends y'all just sit there in silence? That's crazy. They are buying together. So at the end of the day, yes, they are going to talk. Otherwise, it is kind of crazy. I, I would go insane if I was just sitting with somebody all day doing all these things and we don't say nothing to each other. You know what, what's the point of that? Um, at the same time, what you complaining for when you can just go to settings and turn it down? How is this a complaint when you can turn it off? That makes no sense. You know, so that aspect of it, you know, if you watch my videos, I don't turn it down because I, um, I have no problem with it. But at the end of the day, if you find this bad, you find this cringeworthy, then go to settings and they allow you to turn it, you know, bring it down. It's just that simple. I can see if if you know you want to play a game with silence and you know you can't turn it off, that might be a problem for you. But you can. So what's the problem? <laughs> it, it makes no sense. Now we now we just complaining just to be complaining. You know. So um, at the end of the day, that argument, in my opinion, you know, to you no know, no offense to the, what I call the gatekeepers, you know, is stupid. Because you can just turn it down. You can adjust that in the sentence. No big deal. Uh, but at the end of, end of the day, you know, I think it, it does help progress the story. Um, and I think it's, 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 it's a welcome addition, in my opinion. It's fine. But, you know, if you are one of the people who can't take all of the, the talk, in which it's not, it really isn't overbearing, then you can just go to sentence and, and just bring it down. You know, so um, so that's that's really a, a non-starter argument for me. And on top of that, you know, um, the like I said, going back to this, they say the decisions she make. I see someone who is a very heartwarming person who cares about people. You know, um, and she makes good decisions. She makes decisions I can I can understand. And at the end of the day, people are saying I can't relate to her. Shoot. Well, you know what? I love Elden Ring. I love all these soul type games. But I can't relate to them. I can't do the stuff they do. You know. I don't even know half the time what's going on with the story. The story don't really tell you much. You know. And I, so I can't relate to this character who doesn't speak or say anything at all. But at the end of the day, 
it's still a good game. I don't play games to relate to the character. That makes no sense. It's for en enjoyment, entertainment. When it became a thing where you have to relate to a character. That's crazy. I don't relate to her. Shoot. I <laughs> That's crazy. You know. I, like I said before, I just got through um, beating Bayonetta. I can't relate to all that dancing, you know, your clothes off and stuff like that and, and bringing demons and stuff like that. I can't relate to that. But I still enjoyed the game. You know. So, at the end of the day, this whole relatable thing, that's just another excuse that is really asinine and it don't make no sense. I, I, don't, I don't understand this whole... I don't relate to the character thing. Shoot, I don't relate to her either. She's a girl. I'm a guy. I don't relate to that. She got a magic cuff in her hand. I don't. I don't relate to that. You know. Um, so at the end of the day, um, it's that's that's like a a nonsensical argument. Of, of you having to relate to a character in order to enjoy in order to enjoy a game it, it makes no sense you know so um, once again don't listen to the gatekeepers this is a good game um, let's talk about one more thing so I have also heard that the um, the, the gameplay is not good um, that's not true the the gameplay is pretty good. I've also heard the graphics aren't good. I think the graphics are very good. You know, it's, it's beautiful. The cat designs, they're fine. Um, you know, um, there there are some people who are saying, well, you know, you do very little damage and all this stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's it's at times when you're fighting certain um, enemies, um, it's like, you know, you very, you're doing very little damage to them. Um so, you know, it's just like an Elden Ring, you know, when you first get out there, you got that dude, the horse, you know, sometimes some enemies aren't just meant, aren't meant for you to fight immediately. You can always come back to them. It's the same thing. There are some characters that maybe, you know, some enemies you, probably, you, should, you should probably fight a little bit later, you know, but then at the same time, you know, um, if you got the patience, you want to try it, you know, put that challenge on yourself. You have that ability to is, to do as well. Now, some people are saying the, the magic at the beginning is, isn't that great. Um, I, I did, you know, I had a good time using the magic in the beginning. Now, granted, I had just beat Silas. So I haven't played since I beat Silas a day or two ago. Um, um, I'm planning on playing the day again and continue on the story because, um, you know, I work, <laughs> so I, I don't sit at home all day and play games. I'm not knocking that. You know, some people make good money on that. That's you know, for some people that's their 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 um their living, you know. And so um so sometimes these people, you know, like I said, I'm not knocking it. Might want more than the average person who was just playing for fun might want. But that doesn't mean you tell everyone else that something is bad just because, you know, you you have these super duper high standards um, that everyone else doesn't have. You know, you got to have certain specs, all this and that. Everything is great to me. I don't even think in that time in that way, you know. Is is it moving fluid? Is it is it, you know, am I having any interruptions? I'm not having those issues. You know, but on the other hand, you know, for those who are playing who are playing PC, I don't play PC. So I heard that there might legitimately be some issues with the gameplay on PC. Um and that and that will suck. And I can understand why you might not like it due to that. Um, but you know, playing the PlayStation Five, I, I have no issues like that, you know. Um as far as, you know, dropping, you know, the game is stopping all kind of crazy stuff. I, I I don't have those issues. So um um so so you know I'm not going to discourage other people from getting it. You know um um 
and and I and I and I don't have a PC, so I can't really make a a good comment on or judgment on the PC. But for PlayStation Five, yeah, definitely get a copy. It's 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 well worth it, you know. So um, and people saying that you know it's open world, you know all this, you got all this open space, you know, you don't have a whole lot, you got all these enemies and stuff like that. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that that's kind of how it happens, you know. It's not really nothing new. In, in that aspect, um, shoot, like Elden Rings, like I said, that's, that's an open world game. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people just run past all these enemies in the open world that, that are there. You know, there's a lot of dead space. You got spots where there's no enemies. Okay, cool. That, that's the way open world works. What, you, what do you want? Um, <laughs> you know, so, um, and then you're going to have places where, you know, you're just not ready to fight certain enemies. Come back later. What do you want? <laughs> you know, that's the way those things work. You know, exploration does matter. Some I heard someone say, "Well, you it's it's no um you get nothing from it." I have went and and fought certain um enemies and um that were not were not in the main mission main mission, and I got some upgraded gear and all kind of stuff. So you know, you get those things. Um, and on top of that, you know. All the items just laid out for you. I like that. I don't, I don't, you know, magnet is everywhere. You know, you don't have to go do certain things to get it. You know, that makes farming easier. Now, I know some of you guys love the grind, but everybody don't have time to be grinding like that. <laughs> um, have to go specific places to fight a bunch of enemies and things of that nature. For me, that is, that is great that, you know, I can find the, the upgraded materials everywhere. And I don't have to sit around there and go farm certain individuals over and over and over again. No, I, I, I don't I don't see no problem with that at all. You know, and, and I'm not going to show too much stuff so I won't spoil it for those, you know. Um, that's why I'm just showing the, the very basic stuff, you know. But the trust me, the fighting, the fight um, sequences, the boss battle... The one I fought, the main boss Silas, is outstanding. I enjoyed it. The magic so far is pretty good. Now, from what I saw in one video, the real fun magic ha um, is gained after you beat Silas. Okay. So, I enjoyed the, the, the rock base, um, the earth base magic I had in the beginning. So, I can't wait to see this fire base magic I got with Silas and, and what I can gain from other bosses. Um... And like I said before, the, the early magic, they don't give you a whole lot, but it's good. It's doable. You can get a lot of stuff done with it. You can really challenge yourself. If You know, um, it's, it's great. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good game. The story is good. The acting is good. If you can't take the talk between um, the main character and, and the um, attachment of her arm, you can turn that down. That's all you got to do. You know? Um, and the parkour element is, is fun. You know, it's, it's different for me. You know, I'm used to dodge rolling or maybe having a, um, having a, um, uh, um, a shield, but this new element of, you know, using the parkour to evade enemies is different for me and I like it. I like it. So, you know, there is some differentiation in this game. From other games everything is not the same um, you know the use of magic and support magic totally magic based game I don't I don't play a lot of games like that you know I generally play games that got melee weapons I play games that that, that might have um, a bow and an arrow um, and some accessories you know but I, I don't really play a whole lot of games that are based totally on magic this is different for me so this is good. This is cool. This is new. This is exciting. So anyway, this is longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, but at any rate, I I would suggest, you know, for me, this game is a good game. Early game so far is a good game. And I do say it is worth the money. And I, and I will say, you know, check it out. Don't let the gatekeepers keep you from an, enjoying a good game. Um, and they're disdain for whatever reason for this game. Um, cause I, I don't get it. You know, this is a solid 
good pickup. Go out and get that game. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>